100 USDT Royal Q Trading App price has gone higher by $20. But actually, there's no difference. Even before this, as members, we used to top up $120. Why? $100 goes for the trading board for a one-year subscription. And $20 we keep there for the fuel, as I told you, the commission when Royal Q wants to take his commission. But now, what happens? You put in the same $120, you will get 20 RP. This is a, a point that you can utilize this point to uh, what uh, to offset your trading fees, okay, trading commission that uh, Royal Q takes, okay. So it's still the same, but now you need to put in USDT. 120. So once you have deposited over here, you'll be able to see the 120 over here, guys. Okay. When you see the 120 over here, then you click on okay, you go here. You can see this yellow box over here, right? So you need to click on activation. Now mine shows renew, but normally it will show activation. So you click on activation. You can see the price will show 120. Just click on agree to the Royal Q user activation service agreement. And then you click on activate. Okay. Now, of course, it shows renew because my renewal will be one year from now, not now. Okay. Somewhere around uh, April next year. So this is how you do it. So once the first step, guys, after you have downloaded the app, after you have registered, once you are in the application, you need to activate it first, okay? Once you have activated, activated it, then you can proceed to the next step of doing your API binding, okay? So once your account activated, you can go up here. You can see here there's API binding, okay? API binding. So you just need to click on API binding. And then guys, you can see here, you have Binance and you have Hobby. Now, the best part about Royal Q, guys, is this. One app, one uh, robot that can work for you in two exchanges, okay? Two exchanges, meaning, guys, you can simultaneously run your finance and your hobby robot at the same time from this one account. That means for 120 USDT, guys, this is superb. You have two uh, exchanges that you can run at the same time. Now, you asked me, uh, recently, because of the price increase from 100 to 120, a lot of people were asking, why is it, why is it, why is it? Guys, you've asked me, I have been in the crypto industry since the year 2012, and I think this 120 is considered very cheap. If you ask me, something like Royal Q should be sold around 250 to $300, if you ask me. But 120 is still very cheap, and best part, for 120, they still give you 20 RP that you can utilize to offset your trading commission that Royal Q takes. So where can you get this type of uh, super plan, guys? That, that's only for 120, okay? If I was the uh, founder of uh, Royal Q, if I created this app, I'm, I mean, you can bet me I'm going to charge you guys 300 to 350 USD for this application, okay? But anyway... Since I'm not a developer, so Royal Q trading app is at 120 USDT. Okay, so now, so let's say you want to bind your API, you click on whichever the exchanger. I mean the exchanger. Now you need to get your API key, and you need to get the secret key, guys. Okay, so before that, before you go into your Binance or what, I want you guys to copy this. Okay, so let's copy this. Okay, once you've copied this, then you. Uh, go into your Binance, okay, and up here, guys. I mean, up here, pula. here you can see there's a button called More, okay. So you just have to click on More, okay, and then you just go down below all the way down, and you'll be able to find API management over here, guys, okay. So you click on API management, okay? And then you ask you to create your, uh, so you can name it, you can put it Royal Q. Now, you, do, is you can put even anything, but you put Royal Q so that you know that this API key you're already using in Royal Q, okay? So then you need to do your verifications, okay? So let's do these verifications. Okay. Sorry, guys. 
So once you put in your code, then you'll be able to get your API key that you can proceed with uh, finding it, okay? Sorry, yes, so I clicked it right. So let me just do it again. So we'll just proceed. So, uh, okay, now for this API key, guys, uh, if anything, you got any doubts, you can ask me after when I...